Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, just want to say I'm excited to be here, get started on our 2021 season. You know, really uh, fortunate to have the confidence of Coach Zimmer and Rick Spielman. You know, proud to represent the Vikings and uh, the Will family. So with that, I'll take any questions from you guys. Okay, we'll start with Joe Schmidt. Yes, um, uh, Clint, uh, what, what did your dad, uh, you know, what are you going to take from your dad as an offensive coordinator uh, into every day that you work with the Vikings? Yeah, definitely learn through osmosis, just being around them. So uh, it's, there's not one thing I can speak of, but uh, the, main, the main thing that comes to mind is just uh, treating people with respect and being organized, being, uh, being demanding and being fair, and other thing, everything else to take care of itself. So I was really blessed to be able to work with them for these last two years here. Eric Smith. Hey, Clint, I'm just wondering how your relationship with Kirk has grown the last two years, and what do you kind of expect that to be like now that you've kind of moved up to the OC role? Yeah, it's been, it's been an excellent relationship, uh, mainly because he, he demands so much out of his coaches because the way he prepares. So, um, you know, every day that I've been in the building with Kirk, I've become a better coach. So, um, you know, nobody is working harder than him mentally and then getting his body ready for Sunday. I think uh, as we move on to this next step, um, I don't see very much changing. We got we to gotta get closer in order for us to, to keep moving forward. Okay, Matthew Kohler. Clint, um, back when you were playing at Colorado State, did you see this as a future for you to, to follow kind of in your dad's footsteps and, and become a coach like this? Or is this sort of something that once you got into, you found a passion for? Yeah, yeah honestly, not at all. You know, when I was, I was naive enough as a player to think I would play in the NFL for 15 years. Um, and I put all my, all my time and energy into that. And then when that was over, um, you know, I had the ability to be a graduate assistant and then just developed a love uh, for the coaching side of it. So certainly it wasn't something I planned on, but it was something I, I grew to have a great passion for. Dave Campbell. Hey, hey Clint, um, I'm wondering, obviously uh, your dad has been a big influence for you and sort of helped pave that way for you to, to follow his footsteps. Um, I'm wondering if you've ever found that or you felt that is, has been a negative to you in just dealing with that whole, you know, coach's son kind yeah. of um, and how you've worked through that. Yeah, yeah that, that's a really good question. And that um, it is the blessing and, and the curse of being a coach's son. I found certainly the positives have outweighed the negatives. And uh, just being around him and, uh, you know, his friends, his coaches, uh, my whole life has only uh, brought the best out of me. So. There's certainly uh, always negatives associated with that, um, but those are out of my control. The positives um, were just learning, learning how to how to work hard, how to how to organize your time, and how to how to value everybody around you and use their strengths to for the betterment of the team. So, uh, just really blessed to be a coach's kid. I'm proud of that. Ben Gessling. Clint, I think I've heard your dad talk about the importance of going to work for other people before you work for him. I, in terms of those experiences, especially when you were with the Vikings the first time before you worked with him, how did that shape you as a coach at this level? You know, uh, certainly it goes back even before the Vikings, but uh, being a graduate assistant for Mike Sherman, for Kevin Sumlin, uh, you know, Cliff Kingsbury, and then, and then getting to work with the first first work with Coach Frazier, worked with Coach Zimmer, um, you know, multiple coordinators, just so many different voices. Um, the experience was invaluable, and uh, you know, you take so many from all those different voices and and try to try to become your own. And uh, I've just been so fortunate to be around, you know, quality coaches, but really high character people that you see they can you can have success by doing things the right way. And uh, you know, that's something I've certainly taken from Coach Zimmer. And just seeing how hard he works, but uh, the way he treats people, and he demands a lot of his coaches, but he's going to be fair, and you're going to know, and know what you're getting from him. So uh, there's so many different examples I could go through. I've been very blessed to to be around so many different voices. Sam Ekstrom. Hey Clint, this offense was obviously designed as a run-first offense with Dalvin Cook in mind. 
But how does an emerging star like Justin Jefferson maybe change the equation of what you think this offense is and could be? Yeah, you know, uh, Rick Spielman and Zim have identified so many great players that we have here on offense, and we have to do our best to utilize the talents of everybody. Dalvin's success opens up holes for, for Justin and Adam, and, uh, you know, the offensive line blocking their tail off helps us out in the play pass game and obviously in drop back situations on third down. It's a team effort, um, but you really get to see the talents of each individual player when their partner has success because you can't defend them all. Courtney Cronin. Hey, Clint, uh, congratulations first off. Um, how much, when you take a look at this offense and you take a look at um, the way that it's evolved ever since your dad and Mike Shanahan kind of came up with this scheme 25 years ago. Do you feel like now in 2021 there are ways to modernize it um, when you now take the helm of the offense and the play calling going forward? Yeah, I think if, if we don't evolve, then we'll be left in the dust. You know, that's, that's every, every team in the NFL um, always trying to find a ways to, to evolve your scheme and try to make yourself less predictable. And that goes, uh, this time of year is a heavy self-scout self time of year and studying other teams. Um, but certainly, we don't want to be rigid. We want to we wanna be open to growth uh, just so we can produce on Sunday. Matthew Kohler. Hi, Clint. Um, you know, building off of that, um, I, I wonder about your, your relationship in, in working with Kevin Stefanski and um, kind of how that impacted you because he's looked at as a guy who sort of modernized some of the things that Gary was able to do. Uh, how did working with him um, kind of help you in that area? Yeah, I mean, that relationship obviously brought me back to Minnesota. Um, I'm so grateful for that relationship. And, uh, you know, we go back to working in the back, back room of uh, the old building and have a lot of great memories there but uh, Kevin has taught me a lot and not not just the second time I, I worked for him but I got to work with him you know back at the uh, winter park days and uh, there's so many times where you know he had his own plate of responsibilities but he would take me aside and explain something to me or help me do my job better when he didn't have to and that's just uh, the kind of guy that he is high character guy um, and, and certainly a role model. Joe Schmidt. Um, Clint, I take it you're calling the plays. Uh, have you ever done it before? And, and, and what makes you think you'll, uh, you'll get, have a knack for it? A hey, hey, great question, Joe. Fair question. Um, I have certainly not, not in a regular season game and I have the opportunity in preseason games before. Um, that's something that you're always preparing for as an assistant coach. And, uh, you know, certainly I'm going to have, I'm going to have plenty to prove, but uh, it doesn't, it has nothing to do with me. It's about, you know, the coaching staff, how we put together the plan, how detailed we are, you know, on, uh, you know, Monday through Saturday, and uh, typically Sunday will take care of itself. Okay, we'll have Don Mitchell, and then we'll end with Courtney after that. Hi, Clint. Uh, thanks for taking time for this. Um, I hopped on a little bit late, so if you have already addressed this, uh, forgive me. Right. But everyone talks about familiarity and keeping you know, Kirk Cousins kind of comfortable. Uh, that's a kind of a driving force, even though you're going to be the fourth offensive coordinator. How important is that relationship then with him as you take this next step to make sure that he's feeling comfortable as well? It's very important. It's important with all of our players. Certainly he has, he's a main, a main leader on our offense. Um, and we want him to be comfortable, but I know Kirk and just like any other player, they don't, they don't want to be too comfortable. You got to challenge them to get the best out of them, and uh, he's no different. I think that's certainly why he's had so much success to this point of his career. Um, is he wants a challenge, and we're gonna we're gonna be familiar in our scheme. We're gonna be familiar with the faces around the building, but it's certainly a challenge to myself and, and our coaching staff uh, to find new challenges for all position groups um, in order to have them respond and for us to all all become great and to get to where we want to get to. Hey, Clint, you've obviously worked with your dad um, for a long time, and I'm wondering how insulated do you feel uh, just with the pieces that are around you on the coaching staff? I know Rick Dennison has been part of the, you know, the Kubiak offense for a while. He's called run plays. He's called plays before. How insulated do you feel you'll be as you try this out for the first time, and how insulated do you want to be? Um, you know, 
I think uh, it is a true blessing to be with Rick and Brian and all the, all the coaches that are coming back. And the more uh, continuity that we have as a staff, certainly the better communicators we can be to our players. Um, you know, to answer your question best is I'm certainly always looking for ways to be uncomfortable. And when I feel insulated, I feel confident in the, the experience and the continuity that I have around me. Um, but uh, I want those guys to challenge me every day. I want KP, Keenan, Rick, Brian, Andrew, I want those guys to challenge me. I want to challenge them so we can get the best out of each other because certainly uh, we're not going to go anywhere standing still and resting on our laurels from years past.